what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel and today <laughs> you guys said that you wanted to continue the story so here we are here we are here we are Episode 4, Secrets, Part 1. Lipstick, little lipstick can't solve all your problems, but it's a pretty great start. Oh yeah, dun dun dun. And look, we match. We matchy matchy. <laughs> For the first time in the past six months, I felt selfish. I didn't think this through. I only thought about myself. How could I be so selfish? God, what the fuck is wrong with me? He was in shock. I could tell he had no clue what to say or do. I could feel my heart shattering with him. Reckless, yes, very. Confident, not anymore. Heartbroken like you wouldn't believe. Was I a bad person? Absolutely. Do I make poor decisions all the time? Why would you keep this from me? I wanted to tell you, believe me. It took six months, three days, six hours, 33 minutes and 15 seconds for Mac to find out I was pregnant with his child. I can't believe we're gonna be parents. What? He was happy about it and that, that made me happy? Yeah, right. Life isn't perfect. Why would you keep this from me? I wanted to tell you, believe me. Say something away from him to speak first. Girl, go ahead and say something because um, we already <laughs> we already got a lot going on. I'm, I'm so sorry. I just, I, I just. One reason. What? There has to be one reason. There has to be a reason you didn't tell me about my own child. Go on, Yasmin. Tell me what the reason is. I don't know what you want me to say. What I want you to say. That's not what I meant. How long, Gasman? How long have you known about this? Six months, three days, six hours, and approximately 48 minutes and 54 seconds? Wow, someone kept track. That must have been your guilt. It's not what you think. That means you knew. That means you knew the night you left me. You knew you were pregnant. I'm so sorry, Mac. Sorry. You're sorry? Wow. That night I asked you out to tell you I filed for divorce. You didn't even give me time to tell you before you made the decision to leave. I can't do this right now. I feel, I feel like I'm going to be sick. I have to go. Oh, girl, if you would have waited two seconds, two seconds, and let him tell you he was divorcing that woman. I always wanted to be the perfect housewife. I thought I'd have it with Houston. And truth is, even if even if I had Jace, I would still be a single parent. Houston was never around. When I made the decision that love wasn't in the cards for me anymore, I based that off of my failed marriage with Houston. I closed myself off because I didn't want to be in pain anymore, ever again for that matter. Matt gave me hope. He gave me the housewives. He gave me love. He was the one who would give me everything I ever wanted, and that scared me. Being around the group made me see how special life can truly be. When I ran for Mac, I ran from all of them. I ran because what the hell else was I to do? Six beautiful women who seemed so perfect, other than being a bit out there, they had it all. Hot husbands, beautiful children, huge houses, and amazing friendship. I never heard them fight with each other or their husbands. Could I really actually fit in with them? Me, the woman who lost her damn mind and never fully came back. Me, the woman who married the only man she ever knew at 20 years old and divorced him at 26. Me, the woman who turned to partying careless, sleeping around and living the single life. Me, the woman who was far from perfect. Me, who had my own personal struggles and pain. How could I fit in beyond the point of just enjoying the time I was around and thought this would last? So I ran. I ran from them, from Mac, from the 
perfect life. I just ran. I knew I had to have this baby, and in order to protect myself and my child, I thought keeping this to myself was best. Selfish, closed off, snob, if you ask. Come on, but come on, I had this all worked out. I would have ruined it somehow, some way. I just would have. This thing, I forgot that nobody is perfect. I forgot that just because I don't see certain things doesn't mean that's what's actually going to happen. And I knew I needed this. I needed Mac. I needed these housewives. I needed this life. I was ready. And I was wrong. I was so fucking wrong. I swear, if I'm pregnant, I'll freak the fuck out. Watch your mouth. Anyways, I was thinking maybe you should you could push me down the stairs. Amelia, is that you girl? That's enough. Up, up, up. Everyone has their own struggles. Everyone is in some kind of pain. I gave this all away because I didn't want to be the one who was a pain painful mess. Little did I know I wasn't alone. Take that back right now. Oh, shit. Selena, honey, do you remember that candy mommy said you couldn't have because you weren't feeling well and left school early? Yeah. Go ahead and grab whatever you like. Take your time. She just let her kid wander off. Like, that's not a whole grocery store and she can't get kidnapped. But anyway. Listen, lady. Take what you said back right now. I will end her. What? Don't you have your panties in a bunch because I don't want a nasty child growing inside of me? Mm, slap her face again. I'm ready for a nap. You say that, you can say that again. It's just one of those weeks. Don't you have your anniversary dinner tonight? Yep, which is why I need a nap. Someone's going to be busy tonight, huh? Alex keeps me very busy. Not that I'm complaining at all, but I swear our women are always ready to go. No shit, man. Have you seen us? Are you hitting on us? <laughs> on a serious note, it's because we're firefighters. Michael, Reese's school called? Her school? She's been out for over 30 minutes. Your wife never showed up to pick her up. She never picked baby girl up. Hey girls, it's Yasmin. I'm sorry for running off the way I did. I have a lot to explain to all of you. I can hope you'll listen. I've made many mistakes and I'm far from perfect. I thought this was the right thing for me to do. And I was wrong. I'm sorry. Nobody is perfect. Glad to hear from you, Yasmin. I would love to hear, hear you out. I'm really busy this week. We can set something up. Thanks, Langdon. I appreciate that. Langdon stole my words. Glad you're okay. We can set up a dinner soon. You're the best. Thanks, Kay. Hi, Yasmin. I'd love to chat. I'm not feeling well at the moment. Set something up soon. Sarah, what's wrong? Flu? Come over. Let me look at you. Feel better, Sarah. Love you, boo-boo. Hello, hello, hello. You just made Yasmin's group chat about you. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just a 24-hour bug, TTYL. Hello, yeah, this is what I expected from you girls. One of my reasons why I love you. Feel better, Sarah. I hope you'll... I'll make you some soup. Thanks, bye. I'm fine. Promise. Feel better, Sarah. Bring me soup, bye. <laughs> that was Viv. Viv, not bye. Viv, either way. And Yasmin, I'm at the park with the kiddos. Come by. I can chat today. I'll be at the park with Viv as well. Running like TTYL. The rest of us can put together dinner. Just need Amelia to agree. I'd love that. Uh, I'll, blah, 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 blah. Also hope Amelia's okay. She's the, the first one to respond. I invited her to the park. She never answered. And now that I think about it, it's been a few hours since I heard from her. 
Viv, I'm running even later than I thought. Be there soon. And Amelia might be napping. Weird. Maybe we can try Michael? He's on call with Dawson. I'll have him check. I'm going to bed. Can you guys let me know if you hear anything? See you soon, Viv. Be in. <laughs> I was happy they were going to hear me out, but I was also worried for many reasons. What if everyone stays mad at me? I need to stop stressing myself out. Girl, no stress. It's good. We're fine. I think we're going to the park, so we'll just wear this. Very casual. Uh, we'll put on something dark. And, um,. We'll put our hair in a ponytail. <sighs> yes, girl. Yes, girl. Alright, I'm just going to say it. Why is he just like a pirate? Whoa, my kid wanted to be a pirate, so he's a pirate. I think that's cute. Zell likes to dress like a princess when we go out to dinner. If it counts, Sam likes to wear his dinner. But I have to admit, the tiny humans are sure are cute. We sure do make cute babies. The cutest. It's been real, ladies. The story of my life is on tonight, and this mommy has a date with... Ooh, I don't know what that says. Don't forget to call me later to discuss that sexy Justin. Time to chase down the kids, ladies. I think so, and I will head out as well. Yeah, same here. Standing around listening to you guys gossip all day is exhausting. Sam, do not you do what? Sam, don't you dare eat that. Do you think she's come if she's even coming? I'm here. I'm so sorry. I'm so late. It wasn't long before I started to tell the girls about my past and how I, it messed me up. I wasn't sure what I was going to tell them, more so what parts I wanted to share with them. But I figured I'd start with the important stuff. Um, what color would you say is your natural lip? Uh, we're going to say... Ooh. Yeah, we'll go with that for now. Which color? Ooh, which would you say is your laid back hairstyle? Uh, we'll just go with the fishtail. This, this is good. And medium. Alrighty. The first time I ever laid eyes on Mac was the worst day of my entire life. And I don't mean that because of him. It was four years ago. And the thing is, he has no clue we met before. Hi, baby. Hey, babe. How's my beautiful wife? I thought you said you wouldn't be able to talk until you came home for the delivery. That's true. I did say that. I don't understand. Is everything okay? Honey, relax. You don't need any stress right now. How are you feeling? Do you think our little guy can stay in there until I get home? I knew that would make you laugh. It was cute. It looks like you're leaving the house. Where are you off to? Headed to grab the mail. Was that shot? Gunshots? Don't be scared, baby. It's going to be okay. Babe, relax. Babe, please relax with me. I need you to know how much I love you. I love you so much, but you're scaring me. I know, baby. I'm sorry. Just know I love you. Oh. And just like that. Oh, my gosh.
and we fell down the steps. Oh my gosh, a lot going on. The worst day of my entire life is the very same day Mac walked into my life. Sorry, boys, we didn't find anything. What do you mean you didn't find anything? What he's trying to say is, did you talk to everyone? Why can't you just get into her apartment? You better watch it. We know how to do our jobs. Obviously, you don't. Dawson, you better tell your boy to stand down. Look, there's not much more we can do. What? You always have to be out for blood. I don't like the way he was looking at me. I honestly don't understand how Bina doesn't smack the shit out of me every day. Well, only one doing the smacking is me, if you know what I mean. I really, you really make me miss Luke. Yeah, well, your boy shoots fires now, so whatever. All right, man, you need to chill out. Let me handle this. Walk away. Fine, just handle this. Sorry about my partner. He always gets love sick over a Jane Doe. He pulled one out of a fire. She pulled through and never recovered who she was. It'll mess a man up. Understandable. But as I said, not much more we can do at this moment. No one seems to know the girl. They all said she just moved in. We can't enter her apartment. You know how it works. What are you doing, Mac? You don't even know this chick. Mr. Jones? Mr. Jones? Yes? That's not who he is. Go home, take a shower, change, and come back in the morning. What if she wakes up? Your wife is heavily sedated. She won't be awake until in the morning. I'll just stay. Ooh, bruises on our face and whatnot. We all beat up. He waited there throughout the night. The thing is, my face was so swollen, he wouldn't have remembered it was me. I also still had Houston's last name at the time. Matt came by to visit me for two weeks straight. We talked about everything. He made me feel better. I didn't see Mac again until two years after my accident. I was divorced, recovered healthy, happy, confident, and just living the, just living the life. Hey guys, you guys here for Ace's birthday? Yeah, man, we just came here for the dance. We're going to head back in and grab some drinks. Drinks, yay! Oh my god, shots! <laughs> well, look who's here. Let's get drunk. Yes, uh huh. Everybody getting a party on. Everybody getting a party on. Hey, hey, hey. Dance, dance. Dance, dance. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, 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 uh. Dance, dance. Uh, dance, dance. Do, 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 do. Yasmin, stop talking. What? Knew how that was rude. No, look, there was a strange man watching us. What? Where? Vivian, he's looking at you. Seeing the look on Vivian's face when she sees this man made everything clear to me. Amelia was missing, which is rare for her. Also rare for the girls to know to not know where she was. Dawson told Sarah that Amelia forgot to get Reese from school as well, and Neha kept her eyes glued to her phone this entire time. I could see the tears in her eyes. She was holding back, but why? They had secrets, deep, painful, dark secrets, just like me. 
She says we were all far from perfect. Our pain and suffering was in no way the same. The show we put on for the rest of the world wasn't us being fed. It was us in fear of admitting we were broken. However, we needed each other more than any of us would like to admit. Uh-huh. You look beautiful, sweetheart. I don't know about that. Does it look straight? Let me fix it, sweetheart. Did you tell the girls yet? What? I told you I'm not telling them. I don't want them to worry or come off or come off as weak. They wouldn't think that. I just know you could use the support. I have you and you always will. Can we talk about this later? I'm not feeling well. Of course. I didn't mean to stress you out. I love you. Thanks for being the best husband. I love you. So cute. I knew I didn't have to bother telling them my secrets. The person I needed to tell was Mac. She then came to the fire station. We at the fire station, y'all. I realized something today. Mac Fitzgerald and I were meant to fall in love. Oh, well, doggone. I thought we was at least going to get to see him. But anyway, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And thank you guys for 250 subscribers. I just figured out that last night that we have 250 sub subscribers. That's crazy. But thank you guys all for watching and enjoying and liking and commenting. And, you know, just interacting with me while we do this. But anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.